Outright Mac West champions earned the number two seed in this year's tournament and will play rival Western Michigan in the opening round in Cleveland. We caught up with junior Jewel Cotton and head coach Sue Guevara to get their thoughts on this year's conference tournament. One game at a time. Um, we never, we don't want to overlook any team because we're all on this floor. We all made, made it to this point for a reason and we can't overlook that at all. So our one possession at a time, as we say all the time. It's a brand new season and in this league, Anybody can beat anyone on any given day. And, you know, everybody, you know, all 12 teams, what do they want? They want a MAC championship. So everybody's going to put it out on the line every single time they step on the floor. So we have to make sure that we bring our energy, we bring the execution, we bring our A game, and we just really focus on us and what we have to do to be successful. Cotton and Coach Guevara were happy to close out the MAC West title at home especially because it was the last game in McGurk for the team's two seniors. It, it, was, it felt really good, especially for our seniors, Chelsea and Reed. Um, last game on, you know, on this court, on this floor, we had to pull, pull it out for them. I thought it was very special, Adam, especially for, for Chelsea and for Riri. It's been a minute since we've won senior day here over the last couple of years. But, you know, I, I was really proud of the way our kids played and uh, the way they handled, you know, Eastern Michigan's press, uh, how we moved the ball well against their zone. Because uh, I, I was really worried about that considering how we played against them the first time. But I was pleased with our, with our performance for the most part. The Chippewas were picked to finish fifth in the MAC West, but ended up winning the division outright. Both Cotton and Coach Guevara tell us how it happened. This team really perseveres regardless of what um, we encounter. They definitely look at it with, you know, as a challenge. They don't look at it as pressure. And that's one thing that I noticed with this team is um, they, like, they like coming out, you know, on top with, with all the barriers that we went through. Well, I think it all started last summer with the development of our sophomore class, uh, what they did over the summer to work on their games to, uh, you know, you look at a Tanara Moore and you look at a Cassie Breen and, and, you know, they came back better than what they were as freshmen. I think if you look at our freshmen, uh, they come in with a great work ethic and I think our team really bought into how much hard work does pay off and that's what's happening right now Adam I think if you look at when we go go back to that game against Eastern you look at Riri Turner she took that game over in the third quarter um, she hit some runners she hit a three she hit some short jumpers she's been working out almost every day for a half hour on the floor watching film and that kind of work pays off this is the third meeting of the year between Central Michigan and Western Michigan with the Chippewas winning the first two, first at home and then on the road in Kalamazoo. Tip-off for today's game is right around 5 o'clock at Quicken Loans Arena. For all your post-game coverage, make sure you check out cmuchippewas.com. From McGurk Arena, I'm Adam Jaxa. Fire up chips. <laughs>